Oh. Okay, hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be doing something cool. Still working on cut work, but it's a really cute design. So yeah, there we go. So everyone's chatting. Hi Lynn. Our Lynn is here in the house. Beth, Tracy, Good morning. Judy Quilt, good morning. Cindy King, good morning. I pulled the Cindy King yesterday. Um, I was cutting fabric and doing a couple of things, and I was listening to um, a show, and it was great. I see why Cindy King does it. It's awesome. I had to run back and, you know, verify what they were doing, but yeah, it was interesting for sure. Actually, it was um, Eileen Roche because I had to keep busy. So that was Thursday. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a mess. So Marion, Belinda, Janet, uh, you guys are awesome. Welcome. Isabel, hello. Uh, Cindy King's like, yeah, Cindy King does that all the time. I'm here, but I'm listening. So it's awesome. So many here. You guys, welcome. You guys are going to love today. Um, I got a little bit of my mojo back and I'm going to show you guys Diane from Australia. It's midnight. Wow. Thank you for joining us. Karen, Chris Yost. Hello, Chris Yost. Um, cooking and listening. Okay. Well, that's different. Um, but thank you for listening and being here and commenting. Of course, Jude. Good morning from Jude and Miley. Hi, Miley. Hi, Miley. Yeah. Hello, Miley. Miley the dog likes hearing my voice, apparently. Uh, Jill, hello. Hello, Leah. Let's see. Okay, so let's get started here. I'll keep saying hi to people as it comes up. There's a lot of people. Good morning, Sue. It is a good morning, isn't it? So this mug rug I put up last week, it's kind of like a um, Carol. Hello, Carol. It's kind of a stylized butterfly. And everyone seemed to like it, so I put it up so you guys can go grab that if you want. And remember, tomorrow is Mother's Day, so this is the one I specifically designed for Mother's Day, and we stitched it out last week, the um, font being my favorite part. So if you haven't done anything for Mother's Day or your kids for you sort of thing, this won't take long to do, and it's super cute. It's super cute. I love it. And uh, if you need to stay sharp, well, you can with a cactus. And another Mother's Day one we can do, let's see, coffee or tea. They come in a, a pack together and you could do it in some really nice colors the whole bit. It's, it's kind of fun to do. So coffee or tea, whatever mom prefers it's awesome or grandma or anyone um for baby moms still count so they they obviously can't make anything for you but you can make it for yourself and enjoy it so mojo time mojo time this is what i did on thursday the cactus is too cute thank you i know uh linda hello hello let's see Troy, Michigan. I know where that is. Gia says, hello. Jesse, Julianne. Awesome. Love the hexagon. Yeah. So this is what I did. I'm trying to kick it up a notch because I did finally make an official decision that OML Embroidery is it. The production company is gone. It's done. It's gone. So 100% of my attention is with you guys so i'm paying attention we'll do some chats will anything that you can need help on and i'm gonna keep doing stuff like this so isn't this beautiful so i did it in shades of purple which is really nice now this is this one here is ombre so i put it sideways this one is also ombre but i put it up and down because it's the water right um, it's awesome. And applique, purple for the moon, applique for the mountains, and of course the backgrounds, like I said, and then all the stitching, and then this, the outside part to cover up all of the applique and stuff like that. You can see the lines on the back. 
is reverse applique. So I put this, this dark, beautiful, um, I think it's Dance of the Dragonfly, over top, stitched the line, and then trimmed out the inside, and then did the satin stitches. And I thought that was a nice, nice touch. So I'm going to keep working on these, and this is the level we're going to be at. I want to do different stuff. I really want to make the... Um, um, Gil can't hear what I'm saying. Is is the voice, like, is it loud enough? It looks like it on the computer. Hello, hello. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Just going to get my ears working. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to do lots of color, lots of brightness, you know, the whole bit. Oh, Paula, this would be great for Halloween. Um, yes. Linda says, oh my, it's a lot of work. Uh, to create it, yes. To stitch it, it is just applique, 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 and stitching. Um, it's awesome. So I'm going to be making more of these in different colorways. And Halloween, yes, in Halloween colors, oh my gosh, that would be fantastic. So I was really happy, made me feel good, made me feel great about my decision and I'll be making more for sure. I'll get this up on the website as soon as I can. So today we are going to be doing cut work uh, for sure. Love the owl mug rug. Yeah, you can make it into a mug rug if you want. That owl is oh my gosh, amazing. Thank you. Um, cut work. So we're going to do it a little differently. I didn't get a chance to wash this out. I had some stuff going on. Um, I didn't get a chance to wash it out, but there's a little bit of lace in between here and fabric and, um, you know, bigger cutouts. And if you were a little nervous about trying cut work, head on over to omlembroidery.com and this one is free. It is free because I want everyone to try it um, and and get the feel for cut work. So it's free. Go and download it in the normal um, ones that are available. Sorry, I just saw something. <laughs> I'm easily distracted today. And uh, try it. It fits in the 4x4 hoop. And you can use a charm square for the cutout. So just practice. Look, it fits perfectly for the cutout. This is the one I'm going to use today for sure. So yeah, that would be awesome. So isn't it nice? So I want everyone to try cut work. If you haven't tried it before, wash it out and then you can really see what it is or put it on something if you want. Um, but try it for sure. It's simple, but beautiful. I love it. I was so happy when I figured it out and then I decided to put lace in it. It's awesome. All right, Judy Quilt. Um, go ahead and pin that to the top, Judy Quilt. Um, free cut work design. You don't have to sign out or sign in or do anything. All you have to do is click download. You scroll a little bit and it's in black and download it and make sure you post um, what you think of it, how it was, like if you found it really difficult or a lot of fun, and uh, the colors that you used. So I'm going to grab my hoop here, and there we go, and water soluble stabilizer, 4x4 four four hoop, and I would suggest you only, you only do one at a time in here. It's not the type of type of thing um, that you can put a whole bunch in. You could put this on anything, a napkin, anything like that. It will still look good, but just one in the hoop is fine. So awesome. Okay, so people are noticing I have a bandage all the way up my arm and it's hard to move and it really hurts. So if I can't do something, that's why. Um, but I'm I'm here for you guys. I'm here. I wanted to do the cut work. It, it might be a little difficult, but I'll do the best I can. So don't expect perfect cutting and uh, changing threads is just not gonna happen. So, cause it hurts too much. 
So, okay, there we go. Um, just recently got my first embroidery machine. So many new things to learn. Well, Sarah, you have come to the right place to learn it. Um, and make sure you join the Facebook group. Everyone there is so wonderful and helpful. It's awesome. It's awesome. That's why I'm doing as we speak. Great mom me activity with my littles. Yeah, for sure. Praying you're okay and have a quick healing. Yeah, thank you. It's bad timing with everything else going on. It was, um, I had a biopsy and of course it was, um, positive. So I had to have surgery to remove everything, blah, blah, blah. So melanoma, child of the eighties, it's not unex unexpected. It was unexpected to have a second surgery, but what are you going to do? So it's just kind of sore. I've been binge watching your videos. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? We do a lot of things and we have a lot of fun and I'm glad you're here for the live for sure. So why don't we head on over to the machine and uh, we can get this party started. Now, this is easier than you guys think to do. Four by four who WSS, I always use a 7511 needle. Um, I don't change the size. I do change the needle, however. And this is just like applique, but you're cutting around the inside instead of the outside. Now we'll go over it step by step as we go along, but I think this is really cute and uh, a lot of fun. So the first step, in any applique is the placement line. So let's get a little bit closer there maybe. Yeah, then you can see it a little bit better. I'm using pink, which hopefully, yeah, it shows up pretty well. Oh yeah, bobbin police, I was here, I took care of it, new bobbin. I didn't have enough. This was my old bobbin. I didn't quite have enough. So yeah, I just forgot to put the patch up there. So that is our first step placement. Yeah, you guys can see it. it's not quite how I like it, how dark I like it. So this is just an extra charm square that I have and it's um, perfect for it. And I'm going to stitch that down. Then we are going to trim around the outside. Love the nails. Ooh, yeah. Sue, what are you dropping from my shows? I'm not dropping anything from my shows. Everything's going to be the same, just more. I'm I'm able to do more. And where is Don? Don left. Don decided one day he didn't like embroidery and he didn't like me. So he left and killed my production business. And it's been very difficult. So having this on my arm does not help any. It's kind of bad. All right, let's go back to the desk and don't expect really good trimming. Uh, so we want to trim not the inside on this one. We're going to trim the outside. This is just the regular applique. And then we're going to do the cutouts. The cutouts are going to be done before anything else because we are going to make it look really good with um the extra stuff oh i love these little flowers i wanted this one to be bright this one i just used whatever i had i didn't worry about it we support sue 100 percent. thank you i can do it i'm really happy now i'm happy with my decision makes me a little bit nervous because the production company was you know, my main source of income, but I'll manage. We can do this. I, I'm loving what I do, and I think that's the most important thing of all. Teaching so everybody is happy um, and, you know, happy, confident, learn, stitch, smile. Um, embroidery should make you feel good, and that's what I'm here for. Can you put a square on the back so you can make it reversible? You could, but you'd have to cut it out twice. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, we're, the next step, we're going to put the outlines or the positioning, I guess we can say, for the cutouts. And we'll have to do that. So um, 
Is there any way to make the Dream Machine 2 Wi-Fi capable? Yes, you can buy a thingy for it. Um, I've seen it go on the Brothers site, and it's like a USB that makes it Wi-Fi, uh, if you want. Uh, personally, if I could plug my Luminaire in, that is what I'd be doing. Um, so, yeah, I would. Honestly, I would. Okay, so let's... I think I do a... Yes, okay, one more stitch... I just want to hold everything down. So I'm just going around the outlines. It's not a zigzag stitch. It's uh, kind of a blanket stitch, but I want to make sure everything stays properly. Sue, is cut work similar, similar to reverse applique? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We all have helped Sue get through this difficult time with all your positive thoughts. Um, seriously, that's very true, and I thank everybody, and I'm so glad I have this to fall back on, and this is what I love doing, and, um, it's a lot of fun, and I'm really happy with my decision, so, yeah, for sure. Um, agree, 100%, I loved it when my destiny was connected to the computer and just a click or two to send it to my machine. I always run into issues and remember I'm a nerd so I have everything you know networked and set up properly and like today I went to send it with the PE design extra thing that they gave us and it wouldn't do it so I just I just open up in brilliance bring it in send it it always works and if it in brilliance doesn't work then I have a problem for sure but yeah, if I could plug it in, I would, honestly. I don't really care about the Wi-Fi thing. I mean, honestly, is your computer ever really far away from your machine? Not really. But yeah, you can do it. I have seen it, um, that you can make it Wi-Fi, but it's an extra thing. You can't get, like, your machine changed or anything like that. PE Design allows me to send my designs directly to the Lumi. Yes, me too, but it doesn't work as well. So, yeah, lovely. Okay, so here are our openings. Now we are going to go back to the desk and we're going to cut these. So just to be clear, can we zoom in a little bit more? Maybe you could see it a bit better. That might be better. Um, it's hard to see bit of the pink's not bright enough there now you can see it we're gonna cut on the inside of these not the outside the inside so that is what we're gonna do now remember we did the scissor test and a good experiment the whole thing so I'm going to snip a little bit so it's just like a little V get my scissors underneath double check that I'm not cutting through you can see my scissors there. I'm not cutting through the wash away. And then we can carefully cut. Now, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. We've got some nice satin stitches to put over it. Do the best you can. Mine today isn't going to be very good because it hurts. But I'll do the best I can. So that's one. See, it goes pretty quickly. And just a pinch. I know it's good, but I'll just double check for you guys. Double check. There we go. You get good at it. Lots of practice. Um, I've got quite a few complicated ones that I'd like to do. And then uh, we're going to do some positioning too. So by the time I get done with this series, everyone will be quite confident and quite happy doing cut work because it really is nice I like the really old traditional cut work it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and it looks really really similar to what my grandmother and great aunt did and great grandmother we have some of her stuff too so if you happen to go over don't worry about it um, and if you happen to cut through your water soluble stabilizer a little bit of tape will hold everything together now lynn had a good question uh, why aren't we cutting through the water soluble stabilizer 
And the reason for that, it was a very good question. The reason for that is if you do anything to the stabilizer, it's not going to be stable. And what that means is that it's going to move. Now, even if it moves a tiny bit, it means this isn't going to line up. So if you do cut it, then try to stabilize it again. And uh, it's not a big deal, like you don't have to start again, but you do have to make sure that it all holds still is basically what we want. Now, we have a lot of leeway on this one. Um, I made it that way, and I actually added an extra set of stitches on this one. So if you just really don't cut very well and you cut through stuff, I'm, I put just a little extra um, stitch around it just to stabilize it, everything. And if you want to put like a little piece of um, water-soluble stabilizer, keep, keep your scraps sort of thing, you can put it on there under and this will stitch it down. So double, double proofed, right? Double proofed. Okay. Now let's go back to the machine and I'll show you that stitch I was talking about. I think we'll go close here. Left hand. I got to use my left hand for everything. So I didn't do the greatest job, but it's the best I can do today. So the next stitch that we're going to do is just going to go around the outside here. In case you made a mistake or just for stability, even we could say, and I think it'll help out and make the design that much better in the end. So see, it's just a little running stitch just right beside the cut stitch so it'll if you have any problems this will solve it so um it's a get out of jail free card that you guys know that i love right for sure for sure let's see i'm late but i made it thanks for making it candace we're having fun sue could you put a small clip in the middle of the fabric before you stitch it down a clip I don't understand. I don't understand. Karina. Oh, Karina's doing renovations in our house. Thank you for joining us, Karina. For sure, we are just, we just finished um, cutting. And this design, if anyone missed it, this is design a design for you guys to play with. It's free. And Judy Quilt put up the link somewhere, but go to omlembroidery.com and it should be right on the front page. So now, if you cut through, this would be nicely secured on. If you cut through the stitching, this would be nicely secured on and uh, it would solve any problems. So now we're going to get to the super fun stuff. So we're going to stitch all these the same so it's going to hold everything down and it's going to do the um lace stitches that i decided that would be fun so it's just a little bit of a zigzag there just to hold everything we got to have something to hold the lace stitching on so that's what this is plus it gives it a nice bit of you know change a little bit of height a little bit but without stitching forever. This takes 11 minutes, so might skip it and go to the end. There we go on our lace. So normally when you're stitching lace, you just do it on water soluble stabilizer and that is exactly what I'm doing for sure. Is your bobbin um, color the same as your top thread? Uh, no. <laughs> why because i don't do it too often that's why um yeah pin message okay sorry about that judy quilt it's pinned now make it easier for everyone to find thank you for posting it again um i didn't know that so it's done now it's done now bom dia yeah hello hello isabel is our uh, karina saying hi to isabel See how that's stitching out? Now that didn't take too long to do that one. 
and I wanted the the one that we did last week the holes were absolutely tiny not that there's um, problem with that but I wanted uh, a little bit easier a little bit easier so get out of jail free card lovely satin stitches um, just enough of the fabric showing Tammy, thank you. Sue, you are the best one. Thank you very much. I try. I try to do everything I can to help you guys. And now you have me 100%. So good things are a coming. That's for sure. But thank you for supporting the channel. I really believe it. Uh, believe. I really appreciate it. You know, that's the painkillers talking. So, yeah. So now the next one, the next opening... It's, uh, and I'm not sure why I skipped one, but that's just me, but yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I'll find, oh, Susan Williams having trouble with Embrilliance. I love Embrilliance. Um, I have lots of Macs, obviously. I'm kind of, I only have a PC right now because that runs all the software, and I really hate boot camps, so I don't bother with it or parallels or any of the other stuff. It just makes a mess of my Mac. So I have in brilliance on all my Macs and it's just really nice to be able to sit down on a Mac and work. It's like, I wish they all did that. So yeah, I love in brilliance. And also in brilliance has um, AccuQuilt. It's an add-on for AccuQuilt. And that has been fun for me. So that would make a terrific future OML demo. What, 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 what would, what did I miss? Isabel, thank you, Isabel, much appreciated. I didn't see and I can't scroll back. You'll have to fill me in, Judy Quilt. Cause I'll write everything down. Stuff that you guys want to see, learn, just, uh, tell me because that's what I'll do there's no point making videos that you guys don't want to watch so uh, make sure you pick up your um, beautiful cut work flower for free at omlembroidery.com and um, uh, the link is just up there Sue Marion would like to see the edge of a cap nap napkin corner cut work lace one that extends past the um, napkin. Yes. Jill, I'm back. Not sure how I fixed it, but I'm back. Ronog! I didn't say hi to Ronog. Hi, Ronog. Ronog did the, um, the butterfly mug rug, and it's stunning. Um, for sure. So, yes, and thank you. Thank you for all your support, guys. This is awesome. Free design get stitching the whole bit but thank you and hi Ron rona hi thank you so much isabel and rona yeah i appreciate the support believe me when i tell you it's going to make a huge difference now so tammy says would love to see more of the in the hoop traditional quilt designs oh thank you tammy that's my favorite that is my favorite. I love it. It rem the old tradition ones, and I always manage to make it look more complicated than it actually is. And I love that. I love that for sure. Jill Starvick, Judy Quilt. Oh my goodness! Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Like I said, it will make a big difference. There will be uh, something for everyone for sure. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i touched. I'm touched. So emotional. No, I'm not really crying, but I will after. <laughs> so someone said, why is Sue in pain? Uh, it's It's been a hell month and it's just been horrible. And being at the hospital yesterday just really didn't make it any better, but we're going to hope for the best. You know, when it rains, it pours. That's what my brain keeps saying. Tammy says, we're going to take care of you, Sue. Ah, it's awesome. I I'm, have so much less stress, and it's been nice. Um, this on my arm was pretty stressful, but you know. 
Yeah, I didn't know what to say about what happened with my arm because, I mean, I'm bandaged, bandaged from my wrist to my elbow and it hurts. <laughs> but I thought, eh, join in the truth. Whatever. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So, can this design be easily enlarged to go on a towel? I never recommend enlarging designs that are in stitch files you can a little bit i know and some people do it anyways they swear by it but i i can't recommend it so whatever size is digitized at so working files are made to edit stitch files aren't but you can a little bit leah i read somewhere that you have to go through the rain to get to the rainbow oh i love that I love that. That is a really nice saying. Yes, that feels good. That feels good. All, all the stuff that's bothering me, I'm trying to fix. My children and Lynn have been amazing help for me. Like, I can't thank them enough. Bee's been feeding me because I... It's been hell. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Celebrate the first super chat from Susie. Thank you very much, Susie. I appreciate it for your first one. That's awesome. But anyways, things are looking up. My mojo's going on. I love the owl that I did. I have to tweak it a little bit, then I'll get you guys up. I'm going to do a series of them because it's awesome. I can't take credit for it. I read it somewhere, but don't remember where. You should put that on a mug rug with the rain and the rainbow. Yeah, I think I will. That's exactly what I thought. I think embroidery all the time. Yeah, that's um, that's very inspiring. I, I'm thinking happy thoughts. I'm a very positive person. Shocked by whatever went on, but I can't control it. So I'm just going to rock on for sure. Just rock on. Um, that is a very good saying, though. I, that's I should have it tattooed somewhere I think praying for you Sue Beth thank you very much Beth I'm all good now I I haven't been for the last month but I'm on the mend now and I'm feeling good thinking positive like I said my kids and Lynn have helped me you know sort everything out it's been hard, but nobody really expects life to be easy, so I just deal with it. I get to do what I love, so, I mean, that's awesome. Thank you, everyone, for your support in so many ways. Even if it's a like or a share, that's a huge support, and I appreciate it. I want to make this go now. For sure. Many are praying for you, Sue. We are an Omel family. I I felt the prayers. Everything is working out fine. Um, it was difficult, but everything's working out fine. So thank you, everyone. Robin! Robin's quilt basket. That's nice. I need a quilt basket. Nothing like family and good friends. I know, you guys really are like family. I, I believe in all of you, and all of you believe in me. So that's awesome. I can't ask for anything um, more. Let's see. Love embroidery. Uh, it's my thing. I like the colors. When I thought I had to go back to doing production, I was kind of sad because I missed the fabric and the colors and the thread colors and making something look really, really, really good. Uh, because of the colors like this is pretty with the flowers. I love it. I love it and we're almost done So it does a uh, supporting does the zigzags then it does the um, Lace in the middle and tops it all off with some beautiful satin stitches so Yeah, everybody can do this Lynn. I expect you to do it too <laughs> for sure Every little bit counts. This gives us, Sue gives us so much free advice, more advice than I get for some paid workshops. Therefore, I like to donate. 
You also donate your time, Judy Quilt, and I appreciate that. The mods and the other admins in the group, that um, makes all the difference. You guys are absolutely fantastic, for sure. Uh, let's see. Sue, I've been building for the first time in my life a five-foot high, hundred-foot-long fence by myself. You'll be amazed what you can do when you have to. Yes, I've done all that. I, I bought this house. I had a new car and, of course, my business before I met Dawn. So, yeah, I got it. I got it. So where are we at? So we are looking pretty good. Now, I've already trimmed the outside because, remember, we wanted it held down. So now we are going to do the final satin stitches to make it look really good. So easy. A little bit of trimming. Easy, easy. Um, good for you, Sharon. That's awesome. I don't let anything stop me. I have been teaching Beatrice as much as I can. Um, like we wired a ring doorbell uh, into the house and she was like, wow. I said, yeah, you don't, you don't need any, don't do like electricity or anything like that. Like lamps and ceiling stuff, get someone, pay someone to do it. But yeah, glad you all had all that before you met him. I am too. It doesn't make any difference right now, but whatever. Yeah, Lynn and Sue's favorite finishing stitches. I know, it's the ultimate get out of jail free. So for new people, when I say get out of jail free, I mean that it's um, a stitch or some kind of stitch that will cover up or help any boo-boos. So for this one that we're stitching, this one, the get out of jail free card was the extra stitching around so you can uh have it secured zigzag stitches under satin stitches now there aren't any on this one because i've already done a nice hold down stitch so i don't need to do more so awesome so i hope you guys will try this sharon you keep building your fence good for you I also like Merrily on edges on items like, yeah, Merrily is awesome. My dad wouldn't let me get my driver's license until I could change a tire. He said, I need to be able to do things on my own if need be. Absolutely, absolutely. I've always been um, like, nobody can tell me what to do. I went to a private school, like boarding school. My parents lived in England and we stayed here and there wasn't a girls hockey team and I said, I play hockey. Like, what do you mean I can't here because I'm a girl? And uh, I had to go in and see the headmaster and I spoke to him and I was one of the first girls ever on the team. And uh, people still know who I am. Were you the girl on the hockey team? Yes, yes, that was me. I was a goalie, so yes. I adore a decorative stitch on top of a satin stitch. That is one of my favorite things to do too. I love it. Flowers so pretty. I'm thinking it would be good on top of a coaster. Yeah. And you could put a different color fabric underneath. Uh, I think that would be cool. And you can use the get out of jail free stitches to hold it all down. So yeah, think outside the embroidery box. I live outside the embroidery box. So join me, join me, join me. I was a member of boys track team in high school until the following year I got the school board to approve a girls team. Even better. Even better. This is... I knew there was a reason why you were awesome, Judy Quilt. That's it. That's it. Yeah, do what you gotta do. I know I can take care of the house properly because I did it before I got married. So, yeah. Make several to make a wreath. Beautiful ideas, you guys. So, I mean, that's it. That's it. Isn't that cool? Um, let's go back to the desk and we'll have a look at it. So this is the one I did before and it's okay. The fabric, you know, maybe leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, I miss what stabilizer Sue is using. It is water soluble stabilizer because we want to wash it out and we'll just have lace right here. 
Um, awesome. Let's see. Sue, to put this over other fabric, could you just float the fabric under the hoop? Yep. Make sure you do it when, um, after you cut the holes out, um, be but before that extra stitch. So, yeah, for sure. You can do it for sure. Yeah, isn't that cute? I just, I just thought I wanted something simple. I wanted something, you know, bigger because that I found that little one, um, the Anita Good Design one, it was pretty, but it was a little hard to cut. So I wanted something bigger, something that showed that it's really cut work. It's not traditional, you know, design or anything, but I will be doing some of those for sure. One or two layers of water soluble. I only ever use one. Um, the fabric kind, this kind, this is water soluble. It looks almost exactly like the, uh, no show mesh, but it isn't. So yeah. Oh, just think how King Star would make this shine. You know what else I was thinking of? King Star. Yes, I did think of that. Woohoo. Um, but I was thinking, wouldn't something like this be gorgeous on a Christmas tree? If you used the same color on the back with lace coming through, that means the lights would show through. What do you think? Yeah. So pretty. I have to get water soluble. Yes. Make sure you get the fabric kind. It's awesome. Um, a great beginner design, but useful too. That's what I was going for, Sharon. Um, so if you haven't tried cut work, now is your opportunity. This one is relatively easy to do. Sharon says, I was thinking an ornament. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool with Christmas fabric? First of all, I just happen to have a piece. So Christmas fabric, gold around it gold in the bobbin. Yes, you can do that with King Star and um, awesome. Awesome. Uh, anyone have a good recommendation for heavy cutaway stabilizer? I can't get the kind. What I use is from uh, Super Punch and you can get it on uh, Amazon. Apparently that's where I get it from. But the guy is in Canada, but you know, it's awesome. <laughs> and I've never had any problems. Um, and I use one layer. So would this fit on the shoulder of a sleeve? Sure. It's only four by four, less than four by four. I think it would be nice or on the back of a hoodie. Um, have you ever tried OESD badge master wash away? Uh, no, I haven't. I prefer this kind. Um, and I like it and I can get it here. So that's most of it. I'm going to rewatch and try this after work today. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a free design too. Um, I hope you do more of this cut work. Yes, we have much more to do and we're going to advance to more difficult things uh, as we go along. Anita Good Design has a ton of them. So it's going to be great to work with. So yes, we're going to be doing corners. We're going to be doing scalloped edges of stuff. Uh, for sure. Oh yeah. I forgot my nails. Here we go. That is one. And that is the other. It's actually the same design, but I use different colors, flowers, which kind of look like what we did today. How do I do that? I don't know for sure. Uh, <laughs> I love it and plan to try it soon. Excellent. I can't wait to see you guys, uh, do this and, uh, enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, I think it's a whole lot of fun. So if you have any issues with cut work, go into OML Embroidery University Facebook group and ask away and I will be around to help you with anything. So for sure. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I love it and I appreciate it. Um, for sure. I appreciate it. So thank you so much. And oh, Gail, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Keep moving forward. I am my feet are on the ground and I'm, I'm going no matter what, you know, what was going on. I got this. So 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.